to the extent that Article 149 one of the Constitution contemplates the House to vote upon receiving the nomination, the requirement for public participation is not applicable in this case. This settles the second issue. Honorable members, on the third issue relating to whether members shall be allowed to debate on the nomination is not worth that having determined the vote contemplated under Article 149, one of the Constitution is an election. No debate arises on a matter of election. Indeed, you will recall that in the case of the election of a Speaker of this House and the members of the East African Legislative Assembly, no debate arises. This settles that third issue. The fourth issue, honorable members, is the issue on timelines envisaged under Article 149, one of the Constitution. You'll observe that the Article 149 of the Constitution defines the period within which the President is required to nominate a person to fill the vacancy in the office of the President, office of the Deputy President, with, which is within 14 days after vacancy in the office of the Deputy President arises. The National Assembly is then required to vote on the nomination within 60 days after receiving it. Honorable members, from the foregoing, Article 149, one of the Constitution, defines the maximum period within which the President and the National Assembly are required to act. To this end, the President can nominate a person to fill the vacancy for the first day, from the first day of the vacancy, the vacancy arises up to the 14th day. On its part, the National Assembly is required to vote on any day from the first day it receives a nomination up to the 60th day after receipt of the nomination. Consequently, the nomination of Professor Kithure Kindik EGH and the vote the House is required to take today on the nomination is within the constitutional timeline provided for in Article 149, 1 of the Constitution.